Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Happy New Year and welcome to Faith Ministries where we walk by faith and not by sight. Today is Sunday, January 12th, 2020, and I hope you had a happy new year. To those of you that subscribe to my channel um, in the past 30 days, I want to say welcome to Faith Ministries and thank you for subscribing. Today I want to talk about, um, well, I don't really have anything planned, but I have a couple of things that I wanted to share with you. Um, the first is that, you know how everybody was giving all these messages about 2020 and what it means and it's perfect vision. Well, I didn't see anything about perfect vision and I won't sit here and say, the Lord told me that this is what's going to happen in 2020, but I feel so strongly in my spirit that 2020 is going to be a year of perfection. And what do I mean by perfection? By that I mean that the work that God has begun in each and every one of us is going to come to fruition and it's going to come to completion in the year 2020. I'm so sorry. I'm getting moved as I say this because it's been something that's been recurring in my heart for a very long time. And last week i remember hearing the scripture in the book of ezekiel chapter 12 that kept ringing and ringing in my mind again and i want to share that scripture with you but essentially god is going to come through for us in 2020 whatever things that he's begun in us the work he's begun in us to mold our character is going to come to fruition in 2020 the things that we have trusted him for that we've been waiting a very long time is going to come to fruition in 2020. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I know that there's some of you who've been waiting on the Lord for a whole bunch of things. There's some of you that have been waiting on God and it feels like, it feels like it's been long and that the promises of God are not going to come through. But God is saying that this is the year that he's going to show him strong, himself strong on our behalf. And so I'm going to read to you the scripture. And I hope that it encourages you as it encouraged me. The word is from the book of Ezekiel chapter 12 verses 21 and it says, There will be no more delay. The word of the Lord came unto me, Son of man, what is this proverb you have in the land of Israel that says, The days go by and every vision comes to nothing? Say to them, This is what the sovereign Lord says. I am going to put an end to this proverb. The proverb being that nothing comes to pass, right? They will no longer quote in Israel. Say to them, the days are near when every vision will be fulfilled. Praise the Lord. For there will be no more false visions or flattering divinations among the people of Israel. But I, the Lord, speak what I will, and it shall be fulfilled without delay. For in your days, you rebellious people, I will fulfill whatever I say, declares the sovereign Lord. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man. The Israelites are saying the vision he sees is for many years from now and he prophesies about the distant future so in in essence the context of this was people had been waiting for the word of the Lord for a very long time and it just seemed that the promises of God had taken so long to be fulfilled but the Lord is saying therefore say to them this is what the sovereign Lord says none of my words will be delayed any longer Whatever I say will be fulfilled, declares the Lord. Brothers and sisters, this message came to me. It recurred to me many, many times. As the year was about to end, I kept on hearing the word perfection, perfection. But it wasn't perfection in the sense that we become perfect human beings. But perfection in the sense of completion and of the Lord completing his works in us. So whatever it is that you've been waiting upon the Lord for and it seems that the vision has tarried and 
that it was, you know, something that maybe you should forget because you've been waiting. The Lord is saying that this is going to be the year where there is going to be no more delay because his word is surely going to come to pass. And in many ways, I feel, well, I want to share something with you about last week on Tuesday, I had a dream. And this dream felt so real. I actually wanted to make a video about it the following day, but I wasn't able to. And in this dream, I was standing somewhere and I just had like the, the, the word of God was burning in my soul. And it was just like waiting for an outlet, looking for an outlet to come out. And as, it, as I was standing there, one of my cousins, a cousin of mine suddenly appeared. And as she appeared and I opened my mouth to speak to her, the word of the Lord just began to bubble out of my mouth and I began to prophesy upon her life. And as I was prophesying upon her life, it wasn't the, you know, day-to-day -day prophecies that people have these days where it's like, God is going to bless you and this and that. It wasn't about that. It was more about God wanting to set this person free from bondage of covenants, unholy covenants ancestral covenants and curses that came attached to those covenants and as i began to speak the word of the lord and prophesy upon her life something really beautiful happened i began to pray for this person and the lord was saying expressly because this is a cousin of mine that has a child and the lord was beginning to reveal to her and explain to her that all of these ancestral things and ancestral covenants and seed covenants that had been established by the forefathers and some of the unholy covenants that she might have established herself knowingly or unknowingly were actually impacting not only her life and putting her in bondage but also impacting the life of the children of her child and brothers and sisters if you know anything at all about covenants this is what it is because when god made a covenant with abraham it was for life he promised him he was going to be the father of of many nations and God upheld that covenant several times in the Bible when people made covenants with God God upheld those covenants down to future generations as well and for that reason we are called the sons and daughters of Abraham because of the covenant that God made with him because he was the father of, of, of faith essentially and so as I began to pray for her the Lord was leading me to pray for her and I prayed and broke each and every one of those ancestral covenants that had been made and i prayed and began to cast out the enemy from her life and began to pray over her child as well and the lord had expressly stated in as i was prophesying in her life the lord was saying that if these covenants could be broken and if these curses could be broken then everything would she not only would she be set free but the the legal contract that would have been passed down from her to her child would no longer be um would no longer be valid and so i was just praying and praying for her and she got delivered and when i woke up it felt so real because as when i woke up i still felt like a burning in my heart to be able to say something or to to minister not just to her like it seemed like the word of prophecy was still bubbling up in my heart and dying to bust out and come forth and so i know it's been a while i mean i've i've had an inkling upon inkling before and that the Lord has been leading me more towards a deliverance ministry and I never shared this before with anybody but I've been getting message after message about this over the years and probably this is just another one of those confirmations as well so I'd like to ask you guys to pray for me because you know as much as you know when God has a calling upon your life and you're willing and able to follow through with the calling you have to be able to count the cost because it's not always going to be easy and so i would like for you guys to cover me with the blood of jesus christ that whatever his will is for my life shall be accomplished and that if you and that 
he will teach me you know the bible says in uh in the book of psalms actually david when he sings a song to the lord he says that god is the god of war and like god god is the god of war god teaches my hands to fight that i make bend the bronze bow right so when god teaches you and i believe that probably this is going to be a season for me to for god to teach me what he needs to teach me in order to be effective in my ministry so cover me with the blood of jesus brothers and sisters and just continue to lift me up in prayer and pray for me that i might continue to be an open vessel for the lord as this is my desire for the year 2020 and as i complete this video right now i just want to stand with you in prayer and ask the lord to just bless us for the year 2020 and just as the holy spirit leads i just want to be able to pray father in the name of jesus i come before you and i want to say thank you so much for your blood that redeems us, O King of glory. I want to thank you so much for your blood that sets us free, the blood that breaks each and every bond, bond, bondage that we have, O Heavenly Father. It breaks each and every chain upon our lives, Lord. I thank you for your blood that you shed on the cross 2,000 years ago, that we might be sons of God, that we might have access to the Holy of Holies, O King of glory. Right now, I want to thank you so much for the message that you gave that 2020 is going to be the year of perfection. 2020 is going to be the year of completion where your work will be accomplished in our lives, oh Lord. Father, I want to put each and every one of us into your hands, Lord. There's some of us who are listening to this video right now that have been waiting a very long time for your promises to come in their lives, oh Lord. You've given them a word and spoken a word upon their lives and they have waited for far too long, oh Lord. But you have said in your word that this is going to be the year that there will be no more delay, oh Heavenly Father. And so we hang upon that word, oh Lord, and we take that word and absorb it, oh glory. We receive it, oh Lord, and we speak it forth into our lives in the year 2020, oh Lord. There will be no more delay, oh Lord. There will be no more delay as far as our deliverance, Lord, from bondage, Lord, from addiction, O King of glory, from depression and anxiety, O Lord. There will be no more delay, Lord, as far as getting that job that you have ordained for us, as far as us knowing and coming into the knowing of your purpose and your will for us, O King of glory. I thank you so much, Lord, for the word that you have given us. I thank you so much, Lord, that you care so much about us, Lord, that you want to strengthen us, Lord. I thank you so much that whatever the that whatever the struggle is that we are going through in our lives today, O King of glory, you have said in your word, Lord, in Second Chronicles 16, that you are going to stand strong on our behalf, O Lord. You are going to show yourself strong in our behalf oh lord and we thank you because we know that without you lord we are nothing king jesus you are the vine and we are the branches oh lord and apart from you we can do nothing oh lord we might want to go out there and minister we might want to go out there and be successful and do the things that we think will bring you glory but apart from you we can do nothing so help us oh king of glory be grafted into you lord that your blood might flow through our veins, O oh Lord, that the Holy Spirit, your spirit might flow through us and manifest itself through us, O oh Lord, in the words that we speak, in the way that we relate to other people, O oh Lord, in our hunger and longing for you, O oh King of glory, I praise you, O oh Lord, for everything that you have done, O oh Lord. And I ask that you give us the grace to forgive those that have wronged us. I ask, O oh Heavenly Father, that you forgive us even as we forgive those that have trespassed against us, O oh King of glory, Lord. I come before you today and ask, Lord, that whatever warfare we are waging in the spirit, O oh Lord, that you teach our hands to war, O oh Lord, you teach our hands to fight, O oh Lord, that you open up our spiritual eyes, O oh King of glory, that you will give us discernment, knowledge, and wisdom, O oh Lord, knowledge of the word of God that we can apply it because your word, O oh Lord, is a double-edged sword, O oh Lord, that the enemy cannot stand. Help us to understand our faith in you and our strength in you and be able to apply the blood of jesus christ oh heavenly father lord i thank you lord i ask right now that everybody who is watching this video shall be blessed O king of glory i ask that you anoint each and everybody that's watching this video oh lord that you cover them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet lord that no matter what fiery arrows the enemy sends to them oh heavenly father like you say in your word psalm 91 a thousand might fall at their side and ten thousand might fall at their other side but no harm shall come to them oh heavenly father lord you say that you will deliver those that call to you oh heavenly father and so we come to you lord 
with a contrite spirit and a broken heart, Lord. Cognizant ever of our weaknesses as humans, O oh Lord. Cognizant ever that we are never perfect, O oh Lord, but our desire is to serve you, O oh King of glory. And we ask, Lord, that even as you break us down, O oh Heavenly Father, that you may build us up again. Lord, that you will hear our prayer, O oh Lord. That you will hear our cry, O oh Heavenly Father, Lord. And that you will continue, Lord, to mold us into the kinds of people that you want us to be. I thank you so much that there will be no more delay, Lord. There will be no more delay in marriage for those who are seeking to be married, O King of Glory. There will be no more delay, Lord, in finding that purpose for us, Lord, that you have ordained for us, O Lord. Lord of Lords and King of Kings, O Lord. And I stand and pray right now. I stand in the gap for everybody, Lord, that is having situations that need to be delivered for our heavenly father where there is potential for divorce to be in the picture of heavenly father we know that divorce is not your will or heavenly father where there are people lord that the enemy has put in our lives to detract us from our destiny to amputate our destiny lord we ask right now that you erase those people from our lives in the mighty name of jesus lord i pray right now and stand in the gap oh lord asking that you hide your children lord from the fiery darts of the enemy lord that the people that are being sent to disorganize their lives and to destroy them oh lord will not be able to see them in the spirit O oh, king of glory father thank you so much lord for your blood thank you so much O oh, heavenly father i stand in the gap right now and ask that each and every ancestral covenant and each and every ancestral covenant and the curse that came with that from our four from our parents to our grandparents great grandparents all the way to adam each and every one of those bonds and covenants be broken right now in the mighty name of jesus lord i pray that each and every seed covenant and any unholy union lord that we have engaged in ourselves or our forefathers engaged in that has kept us in bondage be broken right now in the mighty name of jesus and that each and every curse that came with each and every one of those covenants be broken right now in the mighty name of jesus oh lord i plead your precious blood oh heavenly father upon each and everyone that is watching this video oh lord i plead your precious blood oh heavenly father and ask that your blood wash away our sins that your blood nullify those covenants and those contracts with our spirit husbands and wives oh heavenly father with any ungodly soul ties may those ungodly soul ties be broken right now in the mighty name of jesus we renounce and denounce the works of the enemy upon our lives and we choose to loose ourselves right now from the hands of the enemy oh lord we loose ourselves from the grip of the enemy oh lord we cut ourselves off from each and every contract that we may have made knowingly or unknowingly by doubling in the occult oh heavenly father and engaging in ungodly practices that do not br bring glory to your name that but come with curses we break each and every one of those right now in the mighty name of jesus i thank you so much O oh lord because there is only one name one name in heaven and on earth and under the earth through which everybody must bow and that is the name of jesus i thank you so much yeshua hamashiach for sacrificing yourself on the cross that we might be free O oh lord you said in your word oh, that since the beginning of time you know the violence shall take the kingdom by force oh lord and so we take the kingdom by force we come and we take everything that the enemy has stolen from us we take that right now by force in the mighty name of jesus because we know that you have already restored us O king of glory and that the spoilings are ours for the taking O lord and so we claim everything that was stolen from us O lord we claim our futures O lord we claim the futures of our children O king of glory we claim all the missed opportunities that were taken from us lord by the works of the enemy and the sleight of hand of the enemy we take them all back right now in the mighty name of jesus and i just want to give you all the praise and i thank you lord because you have said oh lord that in that for our shame we shall have double and so we ask for a double anointing of your holy spirit right now king of glory we ask for a double double portion of our inheritance from you O king of glory when the israelites left egypt O lord they took what was theirs and took what even belonged to the egyptians O king of glory and so now we stand on your word in the book of isaiah chapter 45 O lord you are the breaker O king of glory you will break through the gates O lord and cut the brass O heavenly father gates of brass O lord that we might walk through into our destiny O king of glory and so i take your word O lord and apply it for everybody who is watching this video O heavenly father and i say thank you thank you for going before us and breaking the gates of hell thank you so much for going before us and breaking the the 
gate that we might walk into our destinies without hindrance, O oh Heavenly Father. I thank you so much, Lord, because you have cleared the path for us. You have gone bef before us and you have made all the crooked places straight, O oh Lord. And you have created rivers in the desert, O oh King of Glory. I bless your holy name, O oh King of Glory. I praise you, O oh Heavenly Father. And we surrender our lives to you, Lord, and continue to ask, Lord, that you give us the grace to lead our lives and surrender completely to you that we might offer ourselves as living sacrifices to you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I love you guys. And I hope that you will take this prayer and pray it with all your heart and with all sincerity. Because the Lord is near to those that come to him with a contrite spirit and a broken heart. And he will not, he will not turn away from us when we come to him and humble ourselves before him. I love you guys. I am praying for you. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Shalom.